Welcome to the Black Gay History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. One of the most memorable Black Gay characters to come out of the 1980s cinematic universe has to be Lamar Luttrell, the openly gay femme college student in the coming of age 80s comedy Revenge of the Nerds. Lamar, played by Larry B. Scott, was the only gay member of the newly formed college fraternity Lambda Lambda Lambda, a group of campus intellectuals and outcasts who inadvertently found themselves in a war of wits with the popular and athletic fraternity, the Alpha Betas. After the immature antics of the bullheaded Alpha Betas destroys their frat's dormitory, the jocks bully the new freshmen out of their dorm, forcing the freshmen to find housing. After consistent conflicts with the Alpha Betas, the nerds of Lambda 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 create a plot to gain more power on the Greek Council, win the Greek games, and of course, steal the Alpha Betas' girlfriends. This campy comedy is a classic underdog story that, in its own way, was able to play on many stereotypes about manliness and popular identity, while poking fun at these notions or flipping them on their heads entirely. Ingenuity and diversity are celebrated in Lambda Lambda Lambda, and Lamar is supported by his fraternity brothers, where his talents aren't brushed over, but are utilized for the fraternity's collective gain. I love Lamar's character, who was able to shine and represent femme gay men who were bullied or teased in school for their representation. One of the most memorable and hilarious scenes is the nerds designing a unique javelin adapted for Lamar's limp wrist, which inevitably helps him to win the javelin throw at the Greek games. And towards the end of the film, Lamar Luttrell raps and breakdances as the star of the Lambda's talent show, highlighting his incredible performance talent as well. Revenge of the Nerds was so popular that the franchise produced three more hilarious sequels well into the 90s, making the character of Lamar Luttrell gay Hollywood royalty in my book.